We're going to have a look at this kit from Zvezda here, which is a 172nd scale, the S400 Triumph air defense missile system. They refer to it on the box as the SA-21 Growler, but I mean, I don't know anybody who refers to it as the SA-21, like maybe in an old book on Soviet vehicles or something you might find that, but everybody refers to it as the S-400. It's the only way I know the vehicle. So we'll have a look here and you can see our nice box art here. And then we have our Tamiya and Zvezda paints and it shows our uh, decal sheet here. And our kit number is going to be 5068. They show us some other vehicles here, the Iskander system and some, oh, okay these are both 72nd scale, the T90 and the Armada like troop carrier vehicle. And then we have the system here with a bunch of history on the vehicle. It shows us some of our little features here and details. And the little QR code here. So I'm going to open it up. Might take a second because these Zvezda boxes always have that little inner inner box to them. So move this out of the way. And we'll have a look first at the instructions. So again, we get our little bit of history on the vehicle. And then uh, I guess our options are just pretty much either have it deployed or in transport mode. Then we see our parts layout here. And it looks like we've got pretty much a full interior for the uh, for the cab itself, which is really nice and 172nd scale. And uh, my cat's going crazy over there, so I'm not sure if the microphone's picking it up or not, but you can see our various, there's quite a few pieces to this kit for the chassis here. And more details. in our launch system. It looks like you, since this is a snap fit, I'm guessing you should be able to deploy the missile system like up or down. But that's not actually how they work unless, because when it deploys, the missiles actually lower down off of this. They don't just like raise up. So we'll see what's up with that. Lots of detail for the chassis, but if you're doing these big trucks, there, there's no way around it. They always have the chassis have a million parts to them. And here's our missile system. So I'm not seeing any actual missiles in there. And it just, I, I don't know why they have you snap fit it. I, I guess it's just if you wanted to store it on a shelf or something, you could get the missiles out of the way if you wanted them up or something like that. And here's our wheels. So we will have a look and see what the plastic looks like. Which is our Zvezda crunchy bags. I will open, uh, open the bags up and pull them out. Everything seems to be in one, in one large bag. And it looks like our missile tubes are actually quite large. They must just be massive in real life. You can see the details on them. So there's no actual missile and it's not like you could have the, uh, the caps off of them. I don't know if when they fire the, I think the caps are on them when they actually do fire so you wouldn't see them anyways. Here's our wheel hubs, quite detailed for the wheel hubs there. You can see the details on the, the missiles here. And that's just a duplicate sprue. 
Yeah, so they've put a massive amount of detail like on this flooring plate here in our cab doors. Can't have them open, not really a big deal. In the various, uh, like the grill here. Very fine little details. We'll flip it around. Nothing really on this side. It's hard to say if there's much detail inside if that's uh, that's like the front window there. And here's the chassis. It's fairly well detailed considering the scale. And then we just have one more sprue. You have your engine, full engine here. Some roping or cables. Various pieces. A lot of pieces for a very small vehicle. And it looks like the detail is there. Like there's no seat belts or anything on the seats, but I would say you must be able to see quite a bit in that cab with all the windows that are there. So those could use a little detailing. Then our wheels. Looks like, unfortunately, they're solid rubber wheels, which I really dislike. This would be a candidate for resin wheels, definitely, if I can find them. There's not really any sidewall detail. The tread is there, and they'd be usable if you can't get anything else, but I really hate solid rubber wheels. They, they tend to crack, and they also melt to stuff. So I really dislike them, but kind of, uh, kind of is what it is. Like you can't really do anything about it. Some mall companies use that, and some don't, which I'm happy about. And here's our glass. Glass is for 70 second scale. It's sort of thick, but not really a big deal because what can you really do? But it looks very clear, very well done glass. And we have, I'm guessing our side view mirrors here. It's actually in foil and lots of decals here. So they look all right. Duplicate uh, wheels. Then we have our paint guide here. And so it does have a actual vehicle here from Sevastopol in Crimea. which is a nice looking vehicle. And on the other side we get a couple, we get the parade vehicle, which they always seem to include the parade vehicles. I don't really know anybody who just exclusively does parade vehicles, but they always put them in every like kit of a Soviet or Russian vehicle. They always put the parade vehicles in there. Um, I'm guessing it's because the only ones that have color, like with the uh, um, the St. George ribbon in that on it so but here's another one which is quite nice with the camouflage on it and it's another one from Sevastopol and uh, you can see the nice camouflage on that one so it's a interesting kit it looks like it's pretty highly detailed for a 70 second scale kit and if you look at the built up one on here it, it looks pretty good so if you can find this kit I would highly recommend it. It's quite different. There's no missile for the uh, like for display or anything outside the vehicle. Um, yes, yeah, so they are deployed on the ground properly so you can have this set up as uh, like if it's in firing mode. So anyways um, it's a recommended kit and it's a nice looking vehicle. It's pretty much other than the 135th scale trumper kit, it's all you're really going to get as a, you know, in terms of an S400. So other than that, thank you for watching.